one injured, two missing as resident Sark Fulanese settlers. Blaze settlement in Ogun. Hello, my wonderful people. We reported to you uh, a fortnight ago that the people, the killer headsmen that carried out atrocities in Oyo State were running to um, Ogun State. And in the process, they killed three young men, two their brothers, Suleon and Okada. They were going, but they met with these guys who killed them. You know, the killer hates men with a wooden weapon. Even though they are young men as well, you cannot fight somebody who has a gun. And it's not one or two people. You know, they, 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 were, they were a group of people. They, they went, after committing the atrocity in Oyo, they were fleeing to Ogun. On their way going, that's when they encountered these three young men who they've reportedly killed. Now, uh, people of Ogun State have said, you know what, we're not going to sit back, fold our arms, and allow this to happen. They've gone to the, because they don't know if they are the ones, the settlers in Ogun. They don't know who these people are. Nobody knows exactly which of the Fulan is. Those who go ahead and kill people and pretend and live life. I don't understand how they are comfortable. Nobody knows them exactly. So the ones, the people in Ogun State said, no, we want to send Fulanese out of Ogun State. And so it is happening. They've gone there, destroyed their settlement, burned down their, the, where they live. Uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. One person has been reportedly injured Why two others are missing following an attack on some Fulani settlement in Iyara village in Sangomo, Ogun State. New Telegraph learned that residents of the village sacked the Fulani settlers and set their settlement ablaze over allegations of kidnapping. It was further gathered that some locals at Iyara, a village located behind N NPC Mosisu in Shagamo, had accused some Fulani settlers of being the brain behind the adoption of the people of the area. Sources told a correspondent that the indigenous on Monday stormed the Fulani settlement and set it ablaze. One person was reportedly injured in the attack, while others scrapped for safety. The run for the settlement was captured in a video clip which has gone viral on social media. A voice was heard in the video claiming that a farmer was adopted by some Fulanese in the area. The voice claimed that the attempt to rescue the victim led to confrontation between the villagers and the Fulani adopters. The state chairman of Maitiala Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria, Abdul Mali Ibrahim, confirmed the incident, saying a brief report he got from the area shows that the whereabouts of the two persons remain unknown following the attack. He said some people called me in respect of the incident around 9 p.m. last night, Monday. The Fulani settlement was ablaze at a village in Shagamo. They said the incident was as a result of reported kidnapping case. Those affected have fled the community. I was informed that two persons are missing, but they can't say whether they have been taken a cover or they have died in the attack. I don't have details yet. I will get back to you as soon as I'm fully briefed. The police public relations officer, PPRO, in the state, DSP, uh, Bimbola Oyeyemi, also confirmed the incident. Now, when this happened, you get the police reporting. But when it happens in Oyo State, the police were yet to be briefed. Do you understand what is going on? God will really help us in this country, honestly speaking. You know, so if you look at everything that is happening, the government is part of this aggravation people are feeling. They don't do things justly. You know, they do things like they are on one side and people are not happy about that kind of position. You cannot, you know, um, make some people feel special. Why the others, everybody, a citizen, then the others subordinate. Nobody will accept that. Nobody will want to, you know, accept that kind of situation. And so, you know, the, the Fulanese were accused of, you know, uh, adopting somebody. And um, they are saying they are not the one. However, the villagers have confronted them and has blazed down their settlement in the area. And the um, Maitiala Association, Maitiala are very clever. This is the Ruga that has begun already. They have their chairman in every area because Nigerians like meat. 
you see uh now the meat they say they enter also if they if the people of the south say ah we know they chop meat so there will be no uh uh full any headsmen in the in the in the south now right but because we eat meat so it is it is clear that um it's happening and uh, they are not even apologetic about it anyway those who went to uh bless people's uh residence is not the right thing to do it's not the right thing to do we should be able to give uh, people benefit of a doubt i i understand trust me if i say uh, you should have allowed the government let's wait for the government i know what i know that the government uh, that all their own another matter you know the government of the day are not even helping the situation they are the ones allowing nigerians to take laws into their hands if the government is really functioning, if there are pre proper, you know, if things are done decently and in order and things are done very well, I don't think we'll be where we are today, you know. But the truth of the matter is, if we must, you know, see better days as a country, as a people, things must change. Things must change. And that's why people are asking for, people are asking to leave the country. Honestly, this is the singular reason Nigerians are saying, you know what, we want out. We are tired. We don't want this anymore. We want out. This is the re very reason why Nigerians want out. This is the main reason why Nigerians are saying we are tired. We want out. We don't want to be in this country again. We, I mean, we want, we want to have our own. This is the reason. This is the main reason. The very main reason. And you blame them. To a large extent, you won't. You see? To a large extent, you won't. Because all that is happening has shown that our government are the very reason why things are the way they are in this country. God will really help us, you know. Uh, these people now have been displaced. A lot of things are happening. And um, we, it's not the right thing to do, you know. Uh, it's like taking laws into your hands. But where do we draw the line exactly? Where do we draw the line? Because things cannot continue the way they are. The line has to be drawn at some point, but where do we draw the line? Because the government of today do not understand, you know, uh, they are the ones causing the people to behave in a certain manner. If the government of Nigeria have done the right thing, I don't think these things will be happening. I don't think so. Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.